everyone, welcome back to Chang's Chinese Classroom. Today is the first part of Lesson 5. I simplify the title as How about dinner? Okay, let's take a look at the first sentence. We should know this one. 我今天下午有个会议 okay. 我今天下午有个会议 There are no new stuff in this sentence. I and 今天 today and 下午 that will be afternoon. Yo have or here has ge is short of yi ge one and the hui is just a noun for meeting. Okay, so I have a meeting this afternoon. Okay, pay attention to the sentence sequence, the word order. Wo have a meeting this afternoon. All right, you put time before the action. So I got a meeting this afternoon. And let's take a look at the second one. Ho is pretty much the same meaning. 我今天下午要开会。我今天下午要开会。Okay. Same person, same time, this afternoon. 要 is going to not here. 要, you put 要 before an action. It depends on situation. Here refers to is going to or about to. So this afternoon, I am about to this one new word with me. Kai hui. Kai hui as hold a meeting or have a meeting. Okay, so I am gonna have a meeting this afternoon. Okay, the difference between kai hui and this one hui yi is this one kai hui with me. Kai hui that's a verb to have a meeting, and this is casual. And this one, hui yi, hui yi, is a noun of the of the meeting, is the noun to mean the meeting, and this will be more formal. Okay, so I would say the first sentence will be more formal than the second one. Okay, let's continue. Number two, 我正在吃饭。我正在吃饭。Okay, I and this one, 吃饭. I am this one, 吃 to have fun. Here, it would be food. So, 吃饭 is action to eat or eat dinner or lunch. And this is our new word, 正在. 正在. Okay, this, this is a preposition normally used before an action to mean the action. It, to represent the action is in progress, to indicate ongoing action. Okay, so simply translation, I am eating. I am eating. So you could check the meaning of this part by yourself. 我正在开会. That would be 我正在开会. I am having. I am having the meeting. Okay, I am having the meeting. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. Quite useful. 对不起,我正在开会,不方便接电话。对不起,我正在开会,不方便接电话。对不起 for... What's the meaning? 对不起 for sorry or excuse me. Here represent sorry. The situation is... You are answering a phone during a meeting. Alright. So, 对不起, sorry. 我正在开会, I am having a meeting. 不方便接电话. Alright, first this one, 电话, to represent phone, remember? And this one, 接, is to pick up the phone. So, 接电话 will be receive phone call. Okay, receive phone call. And this is our new word, 方便. 方便 as convenient. So 不方便 would be inconvenient. Okay, so sorry, I'm in the meeting, so I'm not convenient to answer your phone call. Okay, sorry I was at the meeting and it is not convenient to answer the phone. Okay, translation is good. Okay, and the next sentence. 对不起,我今天不方便。明天可以吗? 对不起,我今天不方便。明天可以吗? 
this one is quite useful as well. It's to reschedule the appointment. All right. So, 对不起 sorry. 我今天不方便 I today, I today is not convenient. So I'm not convenient for today. 明天可以吗 Tomorrow, 可以 Could and here means possible. Ma question particle. So sorry, I'm not available for today. Is it possible we could reschedule for tomorrow? Okay, and what I need you to pay attention is this. 方便 is an adjective, so the structure in Chinese is I subject directly go with 不方便 the adjective. There are no to be in between. All right, you don't need 是 in between. Okay, number four. 这件衣服很合适。这件衣服很合适。Okay, 这 this 件 is a measure word for 衣服 clothes. Okay, 件 is a measure word for clothes here, and or piece of matters. Probably you remember, and 衣服 general calling for clothes. 很 very, and this is our new word with me. 合适合适 as appropriate. Okay, so this clothes is very appropriate here. Fit. Okay. This dress fits you, or this dress is appropriate. It depends on the situation. If you go to the clothes shop, it can mean fit or fitting. And、uh, if you are wearing a dress for some occasion, it can mean the dress is appropriate or the suit is appropriate. Okay. And this one, 我明天上午合适。我明天上午合适。Okay. Oh, that's the translation is wrong. This one, I 明天 tomorrow 上午 in the morning, or generally refers to sometime before twelve, and 合适 proper, alright or comfortable. Okay, this one 合适 means appropriate, and normally when it refers to when you put the structure involving time it means available. So I am available tomorrow morning. Okay. So this one 合适 is opposite to 不方便 Okay. So I am I am available tomorrow morning. 我明天上午合适 And this one, 我什么时候给您打电话合适我什么时候给您打电话合适。Okay, for this sentence, this one 合适 go back to its original meaning appropriate. So I 什么 what what and 时候 time. So I what time 给 give you 打电话 make a phone call. 合适 appropriate. Direct translation: I what time give you a phone call appropriate? When do I call you? When sorry, that would be when is the proper time? Oh sorry, when is the proper time to give you a phone call for me? Okay, when would be a good time to give you a phone call to asking for permission and advice? Okay, next one. Today we have a very short list, only eleven of them. So we're running almost half of them. 我想去北京或者上海。我想去北京或者上海。Okay, 我 I 想 would like to or want to 去 go to and to place 北京 and the second one 上海 Okay, this is our new word with me. 或者，或者 ，that means or. So I want to go to Beijing or Shanghai. Okay. And the next sentence: 我明天上午或者后天下午都合适。我明天上午或者后天下午都合适。I. Or to connect to time period, 
明天上午 tomorrow morning, or 后天下午 the afternoon and the day after tomorrow. Okay, 后天 the day after tomorrow. So and this one 都 means all 合适 appropriate or suitable. Okay. So I am all suitable for tomorrow morning or the afternoon. In the day after tomorrow. Okay. And here, after I explain both sentences, I should raise awareness on this 或者 It means or, but normally we use it in statement rather than question. Okay. So please take this down. Take this as a note. 或者 normally used in a statement rather than a question. Okay. Number six. 我想确认一下，明天上午大家合适吗？我想确认一下，明天上午大家合适吗 ？First, let's take a look at the second half of the sentence. 明天上午 tomorrow morning， 大家 everybody 合适 suitable 吗 ？Would、uh, Would tomorrow morning Suit, suits everyone. Would、uh, tomorrow morning suits everyone? And here I'd like to, 一下 just to indicate one time of the action. This is our new word. 确认确认 to confirm. Okay, I want to confirm. I want to make sure. Yes, perfect. That、uh, tomorrow morning fits everybody. Okay. Next sentence, very similar. 我想确认一下，明天上午大家是否合适 ？Okay. 我想确认一下，明天上午大家是否合适 ？Okay. I'd like to confirm that. Tomorrow morning, everyone, is it or not all suitable? Okay, so this one, 是否 means whether. Direct translation is or not. This one, 是 means to be, and the 否 means to be not. Okay. This 否 is not 是 means yes. So 是否 yes or not whether. So I'd like to confirm whether. Tomorrow morning. Oh, sorry. I'd like to confirm that tomorrow morning, everybody, whether suitable or not. Okay. Okay. Next one still looks familiar. 我想确认一下，明天上午大家是否能参加会议？我想确认一下，明天上午大家是否能。参加会议。Okay. I'd like to confirm that tomorrow morning everybody whether 能 be able to blah 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 会议 That's the official calling for meeting. Okay, and this is our new word with me. 参加参加 to participate or to attend. Okay, to participate or to attend. So I'd like to confirm that tomorrow morning everyone would be able or not to participate the meeting. Okay, I want to make sure tomorrow morning whether everybody could attend the meeting. Okay. And number nine, uh, still very similar. 我想确认一下 I'd like to confirm. 下个星期的招待会，大家是否能参加 ？Okay, I'm only put the second part on Google Translation. 下个星期的招待会，大家是否能参加？下个星期 ，that will be next, next measure word for 星期 week. So 下个星期 will be next week. The blah blah blah. 大家 everyone 是否 whether 能 be able to 参加 participate， 
So it is something for next week. I'd like to make sure everyone be able to participate or not. And this is the thing. 招待会，招待会 ，OK. You can either translate as reception or press conference. I myself would refer to would be would prefer press conf- conference, but in the book, it marks as reception. Okay, so next week's next week's reception, everyone will there be able to participate. Right, so the right sequence, the original sequence, will be put the object at the end of the sentence here. Alright, 大家是否 everyone whether be able to attend the the reception of next week? Okay, and due to the object is too long, so sometimes we could put at the in front of the sentence to emphasize. Okay, and、uh, for my suggestions, for my suggestion is the same. You should be able to comprehend such kind of expression. But when you use it, I prefer you use it at this stage, the ordinary sequence. Okay. And the next one, 麻烦您合适的时候给我打个电话 Okay. 麻烦您合适的时候给我打个电话 Let's take a look at the second part first. Give me make a phone call. So make a phone call to me. Blah blah blah. The 时候 the 时候 means the time. The time of means when you, in a respectful form, 您 are appropriate. It means when you are available. Okay. So when you are available, uh, when you are available, give me a phone call. And this one, 麻烦麻烦 means to trouble you. So to trouble you. So this one, 麻烦您 or 麻烦 plus somebody is a very polite way to make a request. Okay. Sorry to trouble you. That when you are available, please give me a phone call. Okay. In a very polite way. Okay. And the last sentence, 麻烦您转告他。明天下午参加招待会。麻烦您转告他，明天下午参加招待会。Okay. Sorry to trouble you for blah blah blah. And second part, 明天下午 tomorrow afternoon to participate in the reception, to attend the reception. Perfect. So the thing I'm going to ask for favor is to pass on the information to ta him. Okay. And this is our new word. 转告 Apparently, this is a very shy word. Won't pop out for the translation engine. Just take a look at here. 转告 right? 告 means to tell, to pass on the information, and 转 means to transfer. So 转告 together means to pass on the information to someone. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So、uh, I had to trouble you to pass on the information to him that. Tomorrow afternoon to participate. Oh, sorry, to attend the reception. Okay, so please tell him that he needs to attend. He needs to attend the reception tomorrow afternoon. Okay, that's all the sentences. Let me repeat from the very beginning. 一，我今天下午有个会议。我今天下午要开会。二，我正在吃饭。我正在开会。三，对不起，我正在开会，不方便接电话。
，对不起，我今天不方便，明天可以吗？四，这件衣服很合适，我明天上午合适。我什么时候给您打电话合适？五，我想去北京或者上海。我明天上午或者后天下午都合适。六，我想确认一下。明天上午大家合适吗？七，我想确认一下，明天上午大家是否合适？八，我想确认一下，明天上午大家是否能参加会议？九。我想确认一下，下个星期的招待会，大家是否能参加？十，麻烦您合适的时候给我打个电话。十一，麻烦您转告他，明天下午参加招待会。Okay, that's all for this class. Thanks for your attention.